Hello. So I want to discuss issues around judgment, confidence, and um, really not caring what other people think. There's a lot of things to draw on with this, but I'm going to try and keep it relatively brief. Um, there's a lot of videos online about gaining confidence, and there's a lot of videos about being confident in who you are and not caring what other people think. Um, three channels that come to mind is actualize.org, Infinite Water, I think the channel's called Infinite Water, and Lavender. Um, of the three, Lavender is the most concise. I like her videos because she gets straight to the point and they're very concise. I can certainly learn something from that. Um, and I, I like her channel because she just comes across as a very positive person. But I want to just share a few of my own thoughts. Firstly, they all touch on, on an important and basic point, that to have confidence and to be positive with other people, you need to start from not only respecting yourself, but loving yourself. I think the problem is that for a lot of people, the notion of loving yourself is interpreted as being vain, but I don't think it is. I think there's a difference between um, just being vain and loving yourself as a as a natural instinct. There's a difference. I think with being vain, it's about always thinking that you're right and always boasting and um, and being obnoxious in that sense. But loving yourself is about being comfortable in your own skin. So I think that um, it takes time to really. You know, confidence is not something that comes naturally. It really isn't. And I'm going to be absolutely candid here. I would be lying if I said I have always been a confident person. I think I'm more confident than I was in the past. But am I 100% there yet? No, I can't say that I am. And the, the thing, I think, what's different perhaps about my channel is that a lot of the people who make these videos about confidence, um, they've already reached that level where they're super confident. With me, I'm not. I'm really not. So, I'm not saying they're insincere, by the way. I believe that they're sincere. And there's a lot of good tips and peer advice, peer experience there. But with me, um, I'm being upfront. I'm not always confident. There's times I, I feel, you know, maybe I could have handled something in a better way. Or why have I not achieved this? Why have I not achieved that? And then there's other times I feel, yeah, that was, you know, nice going. That that was something that you handled well. But I think there's a bottom line with all of this, and that is that no matter what you do in this world, when it comes to what other people think, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter what sort of person you are, there are always, always, always going to be someone or some people who either dislike you or they judge you negatively. Especially if you're a public figure. And by public figure, I don't mean necessarily famous. It could just be being well-known, having a lot of subscribers. There are always going to be people who like your videos or dislike your videos. And I think one thing that is characteristic about all those confident videos, and they would probably touch on this, is that the, the criticism comes from a sort of reflection of their expectations of you. In the end of the day, if you always try to mould yourself to please other people, you're going to end up exhausted. Because you can be the nicest person in the world, you could be sincere, you could be gregarious, you could help other people, you could be a thoroughly decent person, but there will still be someone who, for whatever reason, doesn't like you. Maybe it's jealousy, maybe it's um, they think that you're insincere. Whatever it is, the point is people are always going to judge you. And this obviously comes into political ideology as well, because as a centrist, I see this. I'm acutely aware that when I make videos that maybe veer more towards the right, left-wing people will judge me and they'll think, oh, this guy's a right-wing asshole. When I make videos that veer more towards the left, there may be right-wing people who think, oh, this guy's a namby-pamby liberal. I'm actually neither. But the point I'm making is that in this world, when you when you form opinions, when you 
develop your conviction based on life experience or based on what you see, based on what you think is right or wrong. You have to try and be true to yourself, first and foremost. In the end of the day, most people don't spend that much time thinking about others. And I think we all judge others to some extent, if we're being honest. You know, people pontificate a little bit about this and they say, oh, I, I'm never judgmental. The truth is, I think we all are. It's just that some people are more judgmental than others. I think subconsciously we all do it. We all do it. It's human nature. If, you, if you're in a society, the way people act, the way people speak, inevitably it's going to play on how you perceive them positively or negatively. Now, like I say, some people spend more time thinking about it than others. Some people are more tolerant than others. But I think we're all judgmental. I mean, I cannot honestly, hand on heart, make this video and say, I never judge anyone, because I do. There's certain public figures I dislike. And I have my reasons for disliking them. And I'm acutely aware that if I was a public figure, whether it be whatever, a famous writer or a sports person or a politician, there will be people who dislike me. There will also be people who like me. In the end of the day, we really have very, very little control over all our, how others perceive us. Certainly there will be people who will go out of their way to maybe apologise or to explain. But I think ultimately that will just tire you out. Because even if you do apologise, even if you do explain, even if you do try to clarify your position on something, there will be people who have that preconceived idea of what you are. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Sometimes people might reflect and think, okay, maybe I misjudged that person. And the, again, the truth is, people get misjudged. And people misjudge as well. I have been misjudged by people. And I probably at times have misjudged them been too quick to judge them. But ultimately, I think we really, 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 really have to work on simply, as a starting point, being comfortable with who we are. We have our flaws and we're not perfect, but I think if you can't respect yourself, then you're never going to get any sort of level of confidence. And this is not easy. It does come much more naturally to some people than others. Some people just are have a natural ability to be confident. Others don't. I'm probably somewhere in the middle. You know, uh, I'm not a shy person. I wouldn't say I'm an introvert. And I'm certainly quite forthright in my opinions. But I cannot honestly say that I'm always completely comfortable. So I hope that my honesty will will be something that people can relate to. And I hope that people just reflect that in the end of the day, we really have no control over how others see us. Okay, you've got a certain degree of control. I've said that, for example, public figures certainly uh, do believe their responsibility over what their image is. But even with that, people are going to judge you positively or negatively. There will never, ever be a situation where someone is universally admired. I made the previous video about personality cults. You certainly get people that have that almost mob-like support. Um, but everyone has their critics, and that's fine. It really is fine. The most important thing is to not devote so much energy to those who don't respect you and care about those who do. It could, it could be sometimes that you feel maybe disappointed because you like a particular person. I think this particularly comes into attraction, incidentally. Um, you know, if you're attracted to someone, you want to be seen as likable in their eyes. So, you know, I'm talking about perception and so on also comes into relationships. But ultimately, those are just a few things that I, I would ask people to think about. You cannot control how other people see you. You can only control how you see yourself and how you choose to go about things. That's it. That really is it. And it, it's not easy. Confidence is not something that everyone can naturally just get. It does take time. And it really, really takes practice to 
to learn to love yourself as a starting point. So thanks for watching and um, feel free to share your thoughts.